podcast host and writer Solomon Bucci posted a tribute to his fiance that caused a backlash on social media. I worry about this guy. I hate him, but I worry about this guy for this woman because as they, you know, if they if they get married, I wouldn't marry him after saying all that, but like as she gets older, what is he going to do? Oh, babe, you look a little fat today. Mm. Oh, babe, that was really stupid that you said that. It's like like, yeah, I don't like that. You guys, today we have Solomon Bucci on the chopping block. <laughs> <laughs> so, he wanted it. He now. wanted it. Now. You yeah. have to assume or believe that he wanted it mm-hmm. because make it make sense. Sir. Yeah, I'm sure all of you know the story by now, but we still need to come and give you guys our two cents about life coach. That's thing that's making me laugh since. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely life, life coach. Life coach Solomon Bucci that put out a post. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what his aim was, but he was professing love for his fiance, his wife-to-be, and it was... Just know that that post was very epic. Like, it has gone viral. Everybody and their grandma had, have given their two cents on that post because the guy first started from... Telling the whole world that he knows that his girl, his uh, fiance, is not, not the most beautiful, neither is she the most intelligent, right. but he still sets his gaze on her. Like, <laughs> you know, I can't get over that post. And the funny thing is, um, I don't know, do you want us to read it out? I wanted to read it, yeah. You are not the most beautiful woman, neither are you the most intelligent woman, but I've chosen to never find perfection in anyone else. I put my gaze on you, and with the commitment, we would mold ourselves for ourselves our perfection is in our commitments then he did not end it there you could have been like oh but mm. nah, just, you could have just ended <laughs> it there some people were like oh i get what he's saying yeah but he went on to explain further mm-hmm. stating that you're not the most beautiful and intelligent might sound like it's not a compliment yeah but it is a realistic base for real love <sighs> you could have just ended it the first <laughs> just you know if he actually ended it some people will be like Mm, but I get what he's saying. Same, like, yeah. nobody is perfect, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But he just needed to explain for us more. Mm-hmm. Acknowledging that my woman isn't the best, but I'm not looking for the best. I was looking for you, and I found you. There is no best. There is just someone you choose and see the best in, in them. them. To me, this is real love. Not the one that consoles itself in Fox reality that their partner is the most good-looking, most intelligent, most successful person in the world. That's dangerous and doesn't give room for love to thrive. My love for you isn't about you being the best. It's about you being you. That, there's just no other one. You know the funny thing, eh? He tried to make it make sense. I'm yes. not going to lie. He no, tried he, his best to make it make know, sense. Eh? Okay, I was having this talk with many people. People, they, many people have been, you know, talking about it, posting it, and I keep saying that nobody, I be how I put it, we all understand his points. Okay, it's not a matter of oh, we don't really get what he's saying, so yes. we are thinking he's insulting her. No, no, we understand his points. But most people, <laughs> their main issue is that this did not need to be said publicly. Yes. Okay, it didn't need to be said publicly, and he didn't need to reinforce it the way he kept reinforcing it as if exactly yeah like and you know the funny thing right nobody like how do i explain it i don't go around thinking my husband is the best looking man in the world my husband does not go around thinking i'm the best trust me he sees hotter people yeah he sees finer people he sees we all know that right we Mm -hmm. know you've chosen who you chose and we know that um you guys are trying to make it work you're trying to Mm -hmm. blah 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 but the fact is, right, for the most part, it's just like, let me use the one people might understand. Mm. Just like me coming out to say, I know my daughter is not the most beautiful girl in, in the, the world. world. Yes. I know my daughter is not the smartest girl in the world. Mm. But why would I even want my daughter to read such? Exactly. To me, my daughter is the most beautiful princess in, I'm ever you. born. Exactly. Nobody's child rich my own child okay exactly. i'm sorry your children don't worry man no children are second. i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm not <threatened> at all <laughs> do you get what i mean mm-hmm. like i'm using the one that people might understand, understand so yeah. imagine a mother coming out to say my child is not the smartest yeah. the most beautiful my baby is what my baby is supposed to be she's beautiful she's smart she's everything exactly. in her own way so Ex- you could have even said something like to other people you might mm. not be the finest in the world but to me, me. exactly hey, to me you are 
Mm-hmm. You are everything. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? But why are you making it seem like you don't even think your girlfriend is it's, fine? It's fine. Exactly. You don't even and, think your girlfriend is smart. I'll be your fiance at this it's, point. It's, you don't think she's and smart. And I think what what annoyed many people again is this. The girl is actually pretty. The girl very is actually very girl. smart. Very smart girl. Yeah, so it's oh not like it's God. not like and so, and he himself, he's not even that. He's looking. not fine he's like, and he's not smart. Yeah. So <laughs> clearly you cannot be smart and be <laughs> so, saying this kind of thing. So at the end of the day, it's almost like it, it felt to me as if he was trying to clip be, her wings yes. somehow. Like that's why I think yes. he was trying to just make her feel like, oh, I have options. Don't forget yes. though. I'm Solomon Bucci. I'm popular. Yeah. You might not be the finest I've seen or the smartest but, I've seen. Yes. But I, I chose you. I, yes. So sis, you better do as exactly. I say. You better respect me. You better appreciate me for uh-uh. choosing you. That might not be what he was thinking. No. But that's how it came out. But across. that's how it tra- translates you know, to me. Do you know, even even us as YouTubers, eh, there's some things that we want to say as we think it, right? After saying it, even maybe when I edit, we'll yeah. just be like, most people yeah. think we just remove yes, that part. It's not yes. that you, you, you really wanted to portray that negative message. Yes, But because exactly. of how you know now how Nigerians think and or how people think. that you consider yourself yeah. as a life coach. Exactly. So what are you not coaching the rest? Oh, mind you, two years ago, he was actually against someone who did the same thing. Yes. Exactly. That, so, trust Twitter now. Uh-huh. Trust, <laughs> trust Twitter now. Twitter went and dug the dug thing up. up. Exactly. Where he was saying... How can you tell your uh, say your mm. girlfriend is not the finest or your wife? You know, yeah, it's I not can't remember necessary. the exact post, it's but he basically said the opposite of everything he just he said just now did, two years yeah. ago. Why, so why is it? I still feel like he knows what he did is wrong. He doesn't believe it, but he's he's sending a message to the girl. Yes, yeah, to the girl. That's why I, I feel it's, it's to the girl you because say it's not, but he could that's have. I think he could have made a post talking about see when you find your your one person, the person doesn't have to be the smartest. He could have made a generic post. Yes, but, but he. Yeah, this one he made it because he makes general posts yeah. all the time. So he could have made that he could have made that message clear in another way. He didn't have to say it as if he was sending her a love letter, and that was the content of the love letter. It just did not make sense. I don't even know why people. Some people are saying, "Oh, uh, we don't understand. We understand what he's trying we to know say." What he's trying I to say. don't think anybody and, okay, goes you, around thinking their partner is the exactly. I was about mm-hmm. to ask you people watching now. Do you go around tell your husband? I know you are not the finest mm-hmm. no, or the smart, smartest. Mm-hmm. But I'm just going to. I'm choosing to stay with you, you. not because mm-hmm. you're fine or smart, mm-hmm. though, but mm-hmm. just because. Because he did not even not give the reason why you're staying. Because I chose you. Yeah, exactly. And on, okay, what's that? Another, <laughs> another issue I even had with that post as well is this, right? Why is it that the part you needed to highlight is beauty and intelligence? You didn't even come and say, oh, you um, you know, maybe, oh, we all have our flaws. Yes. Our temperaments are different. Beauty that's and intelligence, thing. the two things that men insult women, women with. with. Exactly. The two the things. Two things. The did two he, major did things. That any man, you're not even fine. You're self. not even fine. That get, we're no smart. The two things. That was going to that's highlight. That's what you highlighted. You know? So, so nobody goes around telling their partners, even your even your friend, even you now as a friend, imagine me telling you, you're not even that fine, Shaz. Exactly. You're not even that smart, but these are well, friendships. I, chose I don't even understand uh, how it's working, but, uh, but okay. because it's not like you're smart or fine. But anyway, I chose you, okay? Uh, yes. I chose thank you. you. Thank so, you so much. I really you, appreciate it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. But let's even rewind back. Mm-hmm. Solomon is actually a very annoying person. I know he called, he wanted this cloud yeah, or he whatever. This, yeah, so he do, he collect did. it, sir. He wanted okay? it. Mm-hmm. Like, because, okay. First of all, <laughs> a lot of his posts don't actually make sense. Yeah. I know that it makes sense in his head. You know, because you're considered a life coach. And mind you, life coach because... <laughs> <coughs> because he just posts quotes on Twitter, on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah. That's it! That's, that's it! That's it! You're not coaching anybody's <laughs> life. You're not... Is he even a... A certified life no, coach. No, you're not certified no. anything. Just yeah, because you post to be a journalist or something. quotes online. Yeah. Quotes I can get anywhere. Like I can make up quotes right. Like right now I can make up ten quotes from what is happening Please. in yeah. this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, but that's not why we're here. Okay. No, but the, but so, the truth is, the truth is this. Eh? How are you even a life coach? Even though yeah, we can't really say he can't be because some people are wiser than their years. Blah 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 blah. We understand that. But you see, experience. Experience is very important. How old is Solomon Bucci? He's not even married. That? Yes. What has he really gone through in life to really yeah. make him like a but life coach? But that's the thing. That's that I said, is he certified? Because mm-hmm. some people actually go and learn these things. Okay, and yeah, they yeah. start small. 
Some exactly. people actually start from therapists, then become mm-hmm. life coaches. It's like a process. I don't know, but mm-hmm. you actually need to be certified. It's not just something you wake up and be like, "I'm life coach." I'm a life coach. Even yeah. if you feel like you have the experience mm-hmm. and stuff, you still have to go and certify yeah. yourself. Because you know, and learn how to deal to, with people. Yeah. Because what, yes. What I'm even saying this is some people. To, some people like let's say pastors who have been pastors for a very long time. They've dealt with all kinds of people. Yes. Congregation, you know. True. They can. They can even say they're life coaches. I will understand that one. But this one, you've not even gone through through much. And that is why <laughs> two years ago, what he said and what he's saying now is different because experience now, he is now living that. He now actually has a fiance. He now actually has a partner. He's now Shalayen. He's now Miss yes, Do you understand? Exactly. So he only has that experience. So all the things he's telling you about in marriage, this, in marriage, that. Wait until you get married. After Actually, you get you know, married, then you know, we will uh, start seeing contradictory like, you posts. You know, women like to follow people like this. People mm-hmm. that put all these quotes. Any quotes they can use and feel like, I don't know how to explain yeah. it. But the and truth it's is that, that women. You always, because yes. women are the gullible ones. Mm-hmm. We are the gullible ones. Yeah. The truth is that 90% of... Okay. Let me finish, in fact. 90% of them, they're just talking shit. When they are in that position, they're not going to do what they're saying. saying exactly. He's not married. He does not know what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Just like that pastor w- guy that they now caught cheating and different things that came to hold his wife's hand. Uh, not even talk. pastor. Derek, Derek, Derek Jackson. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Thank uh-huh. you. Mm-hmm. Whatever he is, Sha. Point is, he's there. Women have been wishing uh-uh. for him, a man like him. Like, yes. this man is the best because of quotes that Giving he puts out money, online. Giving him money, Advices him. that he gives people online. Things that he's not even practicing. practicing. Preaching what he's not practicing. Mm-hmm. Anything you see on social media, take it lightly, my sisters exactly. and brothers. Exactly, take it lightly. And another thing people okay. need very, to... Very, very Another thing people need to understand is, last, last, the aim of social media is to make money. Last, last, last. last. Everybody could our, chop our here. breakfast. It's not that we couldn't be doing other things or, or this Sunday yeah. afternoon. Last, last is to make no, money. No, the thing is that for some people, it starts out as just fun sharing. For yeah. some people, it's still basic to share. Mm. But for influencers and popular people on Instagram, don't be deceived. They don't care about you and your feelings. I, yeah, exactly. Like, I see someone like Solomon, but he mm-hmm. does not care about mm-hmm. your marriage, your feelings, Yeah, what, what I'm even trying to even drive out self is, yes, this is yes, post now. Yes. He knew the effect he yes. was going to have before yes. he put it out. Yes, he's putting okay. out posts for his own personal benefit though. Mm-hmm. Not because he cares that you'll be angry yeah. or, or that uh, <laughs> he, he will help your family or this, uh, post, this advice, in fact, will, will, will change your life. Change your life, mm-hmm. exactly. No, nah, no, nah. you know, you know, give a shit. You know, okay? funny thing, this is I'm, I'm about to say, I'm, I'm going far off here, but it reminds me of when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage, right? So many people we are defending him. That's how a real man should defend his wife. This one, that one, that one. Now the Will Smith has come to apologize. Those people that were saying, no, it's good to slap this one, that one. Okay, now he has apologized. Are you going to come out and now say, oh yeah, it's not good. Uh-huh. Now exactly. So the same thing with Solomon now. People are now saying, oh, if Solomon comes tomorrow and says, okay, I realized that I was wrong by saying these things, are you people going to come and tell us that you were, you were wrong as well? Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> let us know in the comment section what you guys think, Sha, because I know, so that, I know that money people... Funny. Yeah, I know many people actually, you know, saw the light in what he was saying. And again, I'm going to reiterate, it's not like we don't understand his points. Our point they is They will just... tell us, the people in the comments are <laughs> too use, to useless to man. I'll be yes. with them. Shut up. People don't know. Solomon is this. So, okay, yeah, sisters and brothers, understand. he is for you, but he's not for us. us Rest. Exactly. Just me. All right, we'll catch you guys in our, in next, our next video. Bye.